Hey guys, it's Nesta. Welcome to a world record edition of our house tours here in Dubai. Today we're going to be touring a stunning duplex penthouse in the world's longest cantilevered building. We'll leave the price and the specs of the apartment in the bottom corners. And of course, if you're new here and you want to see more property tours like this, please hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. Now I'm really excited to show you guys inside, so let's just go. Into the apartment straight into the entrance corridor which leads into that great room you can see that stunning view in the back now the design of this home is stunning we have a combination here of that bronze wallpaper with those white walls we have the porcelain tiles which look like those wooden floors in that herringbone design a small table here now the first door is the first guest bedroom that has the bed in the center with the TV set up across from it Right here at the back, we have access to the balcony. Now this balcony stretches down the length of the apartment and has access also from the great room. Now right here is the walkthrough closet with the storage on the side, that the recess lighting that comes on as you open it up. And the door here, which leads into the first ensuite bathroom, which has that white marble throughout. We have that single floating vanity with that huge mirror in the back and a glamour mirror here, which we haven't quite seen before. The water closet here on the side and a full walk-in shower. Now let's head back through the corridor towards the great room. And we have some extra storage here on the sides, which open up. And the next door here is the powder room, which also has that white marble throughout and that single floating vanity with the huge mirror. As we come into the great room, this space really opens up. And that chandelier is probably the first thing that you notice with that unique design. It really is a highlight feature. This whole great room is actually a highlight feature because it's viewable from most of the spaces in the home, like upstairs from the landing. And right behind me, we have these floor to ceiling and glass windows bringing in so much of that natural light and looking onto one of Dubai's iconic landmarks, the Dubai frame. Now, the design of this home, as I told you earlier, is stunning. The colors that they've used, they have that rusty bronze combined with that white and the white walls with that wood also in the wood cladding. Right behind you is the exit to the balcony, which is connected to that first guest bedroom. And right here, we have the floating staircase, which I'm going to talk about as we head upstairs. But if you want to follow me into the dining area, we have this shelving here, which functions also as a screen to separate the two spaces. Right in the center of the dining room, we have this a circular table, which seats eight, and that chandelier above, which is awesome. Also, you can see on the ceiling, we have that recess lighting and here on the side with that AC hidden in. Also, those windows here, which you can see onto that stunning view onto the Dubai frame. And right at the back, there's that mirror. Now with this mirror, it reflects from some angles of that view. So it feels in here like you're surrounded by the skyline and those windows. At the back of the room, there is a kitchen serving hatch. So these windows open up. So if you're entertaining, you can be cooking in there. Your guests can be here or in the morning, making your kids breakfast. Now this door here leads into the kitchen. The first thing we have is the double fridge freezer. Now let me just open it up just to show you how big it is. Now this kitchen is fully kitted out. So we have the convection oven, the convection hob, and the convection fan, which turns on as you open it up with so much storage and those wooden doors Across from you is this sink. So obviously with these windows open, if you're washing the dishes, you're looking straight out onto that view. We also have a dishwasher here and a combi oven. All the appliances in here are Siemens. Now right at the back of the kitchen is the pantry, which you have two of those. One you could use for storage and the other for your washer and dryer. As we walk by those, this leads into the maid's room. Now you can see we're at the back of the dining room, but if you wanna follow me, this maid's room is really unique. So I wouldn't even call this a maid's room. You can use this as a kid's room. It has enough space, but it has those stunning views onto that Dubai frame. Also has that full on suite with the walk-in shower. Now I wanted to walk back across the great room with you just so you could get a view from that angle. And also another feature that I wanted to show you. So this home is automated. So you can press the buttons as you press it, the 
curtains closed. You can see from that side it's coming and from that side. But we'll keep those open because we want to have that natural light in here as it's beautiful. As we head upstairs, I really wanted to highlight this floating staircase. It has those dark banisters on the side with those glass panels on the side, which really opens this space up or keeps it open so it doesn't enclose it off. And I'd say it is another highlight feature of this home. At the back, there's also these floor to ceiling glass windows bringing in so much that natural light and this artwork here behind. But as we come to the top of the landing, we also have those porcelain tiles in that herringbone design and that stunning office in the back, which I'm gonna show you after the second guest bedroom. So as we come in, it's a sort of walkthrough closet. We have some storage here on the side and the first door leads straight into the ensuite bathroom, which has a similar design to the ones that we've already seen, just a little bit of a different layout. So the water closet here on the entry with the full walk-in shower and that huge drain head above. Also in the here in the back, we have Marco who's trying to hide from the camera. Um, with that single floating vanity and that mirror, with that glamour mirror also, which you've seen in most of the bedrooms. Now we head back into the bedroom. We have the bed in the center with this office setup here in the back against that window, looking onto that stunning view. This must be an awesome workspace. We also have some more storage to this side with that lighting that turns on as you open it up. Now let's head back through the landing just so you can see that view from here. There's so much lighting here being brought by those windows. And as we saw those banisters coming up the stairs, they've continued that up here. So you have the a dark banister with that glass paneling, which has those uninterrupted views onto the great room, that beautiful chandelier and that stunning view through those windows in the back. Now the office setup has this really cool modern shelving here in the back with the table in the center and right in front this seating. Obviously we have those stunning views here in the back. Now our final stop along the way is the primary bedroom. So we come straight into the walk-in closet with that storage all around. You have the lighting that comes on as you open up and this door here leads into the ensuite bathroom. Now this is the largest of the ensuite bathrooms that we've seen, especially with this mirror that stretches all the way down. It doubles this space even, like even right now, you're seeing two guys do the tour. I said that guy, I don't like that guy. <laughs> now we have the marble floors throughout with that single floating vanity and a bathtub here in the back with the water closet separated this time by this door and the walk-in shower. Now let's head into the primary bedroom. Now I cannot imagine waking up to this view. So you have the huge bed right in the center with a piece of artwork in the back, the bed sit in the front, but you have this mirror here in the back. So if you're waking up from any angle, as you wake up, you open your eyes, even if you're facing that way, that mirror reflects that view here in the back. Across from you is the TV setup. Now this TV table has that brushed copper effect which matches this desk here in the back. Now, however stunning these views are, the best bit about this apartment is the amenities that you get along with the building, especially in that cantilevered part, which has panoramic views onto the Dubai skyline and has Michelin inspired restaurants, lounges, and right on top of it, there is a swimming pool, which looks out onto that incredible view. Now guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour. If you did, please comment down below and hit that like button and we'll see you guys in the next talk.